hanging out, enjoying life under the tree, life as a cow. That's a good looking group. group. Family portrait time. Everyone having a good Saturday, good little day here. Everybody looks good. I don't want to bother them, but everybody looks good. Good and happy. Here we go again. Cows keep getting out because there's a lot of brush sitting on the fence throwing over from the neighbor's yard. So that's going to be the next project for us to fix. So we got to get these boys and girls back into the pasture. Come on! habitat enjoying the fruits of nature here at freedom farms those are our little egg layers growing eating off the ground making only the finest of eggs for our customers to enjoy well, unfortunately we had a bad day today we lost five chickens here and uh it wasn't good they started to peck each other i guess they didn't have enough food today for some reason so I gotta take the blame for this, but we're gonna sort of just do a little, you know, dump here and let wildlife take care of them. So, bad day. Bad day for five chickens. Bad day for us. Probably my mistake. We had a turkey escape this morning, indulging in the garden. Right, turkey? That's one of the Thanksgiving turkeys definitely raised different than the butterballs. Well, today we're free ranging the turkeys. We're letting them out and seeing how they do. Hopefully we don't regret this, but we're letting them out to explore a little bit stretch their legs stretch their wings and we're waiting on some fencing which should be here in the next hopefully a couple days so then they'll be fenced in but every day we'll give them a little more grass to explore so here they are the turkeys so we left the farm today came to the car museum in Norwich which is pretty awesome all these people donate these old cars and they're pretty amazing so if you ever come to Freedom Farms put enough time on your schedule to where you could come see some of these old classics pretty amazing see we do leave the farm every once in a while and we do some fun things there's a lot to do here in Shenango County upstate New York look at those cool cars I have to get one of those. So far, this Cadillac really has my attention. It's, this is my favorite car that I've seen so far. Look at that sucker. Gorgeous. Here we have a 1955 Studebaker. Look at this amazing vehicle from Bill Clark in Endicott, New York, a local. This thing is a real gem. We're happy Bill is sharing this with us. Pretty amazing. You can see there's just cars everywhere. It's car heaven. I feel like I'm on the set of happy days over here. Back when the days were happy, had the right president maybe. Life was good back then. Look at this sucker. Beautiful. Ford Granada. Oh, that's a Corvette. Lawrence, trying to get her cars down. 
Look at that Corvette. That's the Granada. I think I uh, seen some people in one of those. Cool. Even the DeLorean found its place here. We're going back to the future. Look at this sucker. Very cool. I always wanted one of these. So cool. Here's our new farm truck, a 1949 GMC. Look at that sucker. That thing's mint. Look at the interior. Wow. That is some unbelievable craftsmanship. Look at that sucker. Beautiful. Amazing. So this is interesting. They used to make the cars first out of wood before they actually put it into production. So here's a 1949 Playboy looking not so hot. And then here's the 1949 Playboy all done up. So they took that wood as the model and turned it into this. I think they nailed it. Just saying. Here it is. The Playboy. Cool. For those of you that are into camping or glamping, here is one of the earlier tents. I guess, well, campers, camp trailers, excuse me. Look at this thing. We were just saying how small it is, which means people were smaller, which means they didn't eat as much. But for all of you, we just want you to keep eating as much beef and pork and chicken and eggs as possible. Because that is good protein and it'll keep you lean and keep you strong. And then you could fit right through that door. Well, you could get a good look at the pumpkins now. The turkeys pretty much went to ham on the pumpkin, I guess, stalks. They really enjoyed them. It's not good because they weren't supposed to do that, but it's always something. There's Lauren and her tribe of turkeys and Rocco. Here they are. Rocco, you're supposed to be showing them the way. Rocco, anything he sees that resembles a bucket, he will take out and hold no prisoners. There they are, turkey, turkey mania. Well, we have an amazing morning today. Even the ducks like it. They're ready to get out. But like, it's a fall feel today. Man, it's gorgeous. Blue skies, look at that. Look at that, it looks like Southern California out here. Let's go let these ducks out. Hey, Chigger, did you have some eggs this morning? Here they come. Let's let the ducks out, folks. Come on, duckies. Duckies, chickies, and guinea hens. Here they are. Come on. Come on. Come on. They don't like when I stand here. Here they come. The Quackermans. Ready for a good day on the land. Stretch those wings. And go for a little stroll. That's how we do it here at Freedom Farms. Everyone gets to hang out. Let's go check our, uh, we got some new meat birds here we're gonna go check. They came in yesterday. What are you doing up there, guys? Whoop. These are our young egg layers. Egg layers in development. They'll be laying soon, hopefully. I don't know how this guy got in here. Let's let that down. Come on. There's the egg palace. Egg layers. Here they are. 
This is their home. Eggs for all. Turkeys, come on. Come on, turkeys.